Witam Was na moim kanale z tej strony Arturos, a Wy oglądacie pierwszy odcinek Black Mirror 2003 roku. Ktoś może zarzucić mi, iż grywam w starsze gry i kto to ogląda? No cóż, ale od czasu do czasu będę powracał do niektórych gierek z przeszłości, których jeszcze nie grywałem, a kto będzie zainteresowany, to oczywiście będzie mile widziany. Wracając zatem do wcześniejszej zapowiedzi odcinka Black Mirror, jest pierwszą z trzech części trylogii, przygodówką z elementami horroru, zrealizowana w klasycznym stylu, czyli znajdziemy tu tylko i wyłącznie przygodę, liczne zagadki i rozbudowaną fabułę. Także bez zbędnego gadania zacznijmy nową grę. Dear Sam, it was not easy for me to find fitting words for these first lines that I hope you are reading, as well as it was not easy to find out where you were living. I hope that my letter will reach your hands as soon as possible, as there is not much time left. Since your departure, I have contributed all my efforts and endless hours of sleepless nights looking for the truth about our family. I feel that I am already very close to beholding its full face, and I am concerned that I might not have the strength to look at it alone. Therefore I am turning to you, Samuel, for I know that you will hear out my plea. In this envelope, you will find the ancient ring of our heritage. It is very important that you always have it with you. Take extraordinary care of it. Please return to our manor and help me. I know my time is closing in. I can feel it. I am afraid. After the funeral, we jointly returned to Black Mirror. The journey through the desolate countryside seemed endless. No one spoke a single word. When our glances met, they were full of deep sorrow. It wasn't merely grief, however, that was in our eyes. It was also a certain alienation that Victoria and Robert felt towards me. My unexpected return after more than twelve years gave them the freedom to ask all kinds of unspoken questions. I am truly sorry about what happened. Thank you, Heinz. I don't know what else I should say. William was everything to me, and now... You need not say anything, Victoria. Today is a sad day for all of us. I think I will leave you alone now, if you will excuse me. You don't have to go. You are a good friend to us, as you were to William. I value your words, but I think I had better go now. Please be our guest, I beg you. I would be happy to, if that is your wish. 
I would like to skim through certain volumes in your library, if you would not mind then. No, not at all. Thank you. I will be in the library. Bates, should Heinz need anything, please be of help to him. Of course. You can rely on that, madam. Do not want to sound harsh, but I think we should leave you alone. You are empathic as usual, Robert. I want to be alone with my thoughts for a while. That is quite understandable. Samuel, would you see me to my study? Yes, gladly. Oh, Samuel, please stay. I'd like a word with you. Certainly. Will you excuse me, Robert? We will talk later. I will be in my study. Samuel, tell me, have you returned to stay with us for good? To tell the truth, I haven't decided yet. Give me some more time, please. Don't forget, we are still your family. You are a Gordon, and you belong here just like all the other Gordons before you. Yes, I am well aware of that, but I need to put my thoughts in order. Perhaps then I'll be able to answer your question. Oh well. I hoped you'd say yes. I'm not feeling well. Please excuse me now, Samuel. Of course. I will go to my room. Sir, I took the liberty to clean up your room. I believe you will be satisfied with the results. Here is the key. Your suitcase is already in the room. Thank you, Bates. Victoria wants me to stay. Maybe I should have promised I would. But I haven't made up my mind yet. Maybe later. Bates has readied my room. I should go have a look. No, dobra. Idziemy w kierunku swojego pokoju. Ale zanim tam dojdziemy, to się rozejrzyjmy po drodze yy, po tym pięknym zamku. Dobra, mamy tutaj monolit. Zerknijmy. The founding stone of the original castle that Marcus and Mordred jointly laid in 1206. It's made of a single piece of some strange stone, charged with a peculiar kind of energy, as William would say. The atmosphere of centuries, long gone, can be felt around it. Marble stool. This is where Bates leaves our mail. There is no letter now. Dobra, brak listów. Do jadalni to na razie, nie? Mamy obraz. Marcus Gordon, the younger of the two brothers that began our dynasty. Powiem wam, że czcigodny gość. Dobra, idziemy dalej. Dobra, co tutaj mamy? William would often sit here reading the paper. That was a very long time ago, though. The fire has to be maintained in winter as well as summer. Otherwise, it's very cold in here. Our family's coat of arms it has been symbolizing our noble rights since the Middle Ages. 
miejscu mamy, powiem wam, przerażający obraz. Mordred Gordon, the heartless ruler of the dark ages of our history. His rule was ended by his own brother Marcus in 1213. Bardzo przerażający ten gościu. Te pieski to chyba bardziej łagodniejsze od tego, od tego gościa. Dobra, krzesło. Bates sometimes sits on it when he has nothing to do. It seems as if no one has moved it for years. Co to mamy? Karta kondolencyjna Williama. Williams Morning Card. Mam klucz do mojego pokoju. The key to my room. No dobra. Do biblioteki to może później. This door leads nowhere. The lower floor of the old wing of the castle is behind it. The entrance has been walled up for years. Oh, kawa czym? Mamy tu jeszcze mamy. Tutaj drzwi do puszczenia zamku. Do jadalni nie. Idziemy do pokoju. Dobra, zanim pójdziemy do swojego pokoju, się rozejrzymy się tutaj na piętrze. Mamy komodę. I have no idea what I'd be looking for in there. Obraz. Wygląda jak kurde. Bonaparte? Napoleon? Wyższe piętro. There are only empty chambers further down the hall. No point in going there. Okej. Okay. No to idziemy teraz po stronę. Piękny ten zamek, naprawdę, podoba mi się. No, rewelacja. To mamy wyjście na balkon, zajrzyjmy. No, powiem wam, że piękny ten przerażający balkonik. A tutaj co mamy starobierze. Ty to stara wieża, to żeś mi kojarzy. Ty to ten co wyskoczył z tego okna. William had his study behind those windows. If I want to find out what actually happened, I must get inside somehow. No właśnie. Bo ty William, kurde. Wyskoczył, albo ktoś go wypchał. Dobra. Rozglądamy się dalej. Co to mamy? Wejście do starego skrzydła. Zajrzyjmy tam. I hoped I'd never have to return here. I'll never forgive myself for Catherine's death, for which I was responsible. It should have been me that ended up in the flames, not her. Ocie, kuźwa. Coś ty narobił? Co ty się stało?
This one is long retired. It's made of black marble. There's nothing in it, just dust. Co tu dalej mamy? Drzwi na podnoszę. Ale kandelabr. It's destroyed, like the rest of the room, because of the unfortunate fire many years ago. This place is making me remember all those horrible events. A dziwne, że ta lampa działa, ja? Jak to był pożar. Just ashes. The canvas has been entirely destroyed by the flames. Drzwi na podnoszę. The door is locked. Będzie trzeba znaleźć klucz. Bo tu chyba wszystko. Więc tu nie ma ciekawego więcej. No, klucz do pokoju to nie dobra. I tutaj nie, nie rozczytam się. Wejdziemy do pokoju. Dobra, tutaj jesteśmy w przedsionek między pokojami. My to mamy. Today's paper. I'll have a look. Hmm. Seems to be a note of some sort inside. Robert, I have only now received your letter. I have only now received your letter. That permanently drunken goof whom you have paid to be the messenger brought it late. I will take care of your parcel as usual. Do not worry. Fortunately, no one cares about anything in this godforsaken place. P.S. I suggest you give more money to that blockhead Mark next time. Maybe it will help him be more tardy. Okay, you don't mind, Roberta. Stop me. I'll put it back so that Robert finds it where it's supposed to be. Come on, let's go to the office of Roberta. Robert, may I speak with you for a moment? Of course. I'd be happy to speak to you. We haven't seen each other for such a long time. How many years has it been? Twelve, maybe more. A long time indeed. I am happy that you have returned. I have not come to stay. I came only to be here for William's funeral. Really? That's a pity. I thought you would stay with us for a few months at least. Maybe you can still change your mind. So, what do you want to talk about? So what has been happening around here since I've been away? Hmm. Things are rather odd, but I have no recollection of anything special. Are there any new families? No, I do not believe so. In fact, the only person to have moved here is Dr. Herman. We also have a different groom and a different gardener than the ones you knew. I've been away for 12 years, and all that has happened is that we have two new servants. Well, no one is clamoring to live around here. You know that yourself. Yes, 
Nothing really has changed. It's almost scary. The castle is falling into disrepair. How long can it last like this? It has been standing here for hundreds of years, and it is not going to decay any time soon. It will outlive us, just as it has outlived our ancestors. But the old wing is on the verge of falling down. It was already on the verge of falling apart when I was born. Yet it still stands. Why hasn't anyone tried to restore it? Oh, sure they have. About a hundred years ago, Werner Gordon attempted to repair it. Why are you saying attempted? Well, he was not the first one who tried it. The new structure never lasted more than a couple of years. The original castle foundations that Marcus and Mordred jointly laid are within those walls. He's as though the old stones do not want to accept the new ones. Strange, indeed. What? Bardzo dziwne. What do you think about what happened to William? That is a strange question. What should I think about it? I don't believe it was an accident, let alone suicide. I am afraid you are jumping to conclusions, Samuel. You don't happen to think it was a murder, do you? No. But really, who would want to kill themselves in the autumn of their life? William was a very old man. Look, William was alone in the tower when it happened, and the door was locked from the inside. So a stranger's intervention is impossible. So why didn't he leave a letter? That I do not know, and I do not even want to think about it. I'm trying hard to get my thoughts away from William's death, and I absolutely don't feel like talking about it. How is it possible that Robert is not at all interested in this? Am I the only one who wants to know the truth of what happened to William? I will go now. All right. Feel free to come back if you need anything, Samuel. Coś tu jest bardzo skrytego. W tych wiadomościach Roberta. Robert didn't have lunch with us. He just had something brought in here. Jennifer, the wife of Tobias Gordon. Victoria is in the common room. Victoria is in the room. We will go to her room. Zanim pójdziemy do pokoju, rozejrzymy się tutaj. I used to play chess here with William. I remember him teaching me my first moves as if it were today. Robert presented this one to William. William's favorite canvas. Someone from the family painted it about 300 years ago. A child's room used to be behind it. Now there are bare walls. There's no point in going there. No, dobra, dobra. Nie ma sensu, to nie będę tam wchodził, nie? The ticking of the clock echoes throughout the corridor. Do schodów, nie, do schodów nie chcemy. Dobra, idziemy do pokoju. The door is locked. Bates gave me his key. I can open it. Oczywiście, jak najbardziej.
This place hasn't changed at all. As though I were only away for a few days. Welcome home, Samuel. O, witaj w domu. W swoim pokoju. Dobra, rozejrzyjmy się tutaj. Mamy łóżko. Szuflada. Hmm, it's locked. I only had a couple of things and an old camera in it as far as I recall. But where did I keep the key? I'll have a look around the room. It has to be here somewhere. A collection of old pictures. I don't want to remember that time. I'll leave it alone. Zbawko nie będzie klucza. Forgive me, Catherine. Catherine would comb her beautiful hair in front of it every morning. It's best not remembered. Full of clean water. There's still enough water in the basin. The night silhouette of our castle. William's portrait of my dear Catherine. She died in those horrible flames. And it was my fault. I will never forgive myself for that. Ty gadasz? The drawings of the Gordon Manor in Wales. William drew those when he lived there as a young man. I only have a few necessities in it. I'll take the pills in case my head starts to ache again. O, w ogóle głowy mamy. I often have headaches these days. I'd better keep them. I'll surely need the wallet. There are some coins in it. There's quite a lot of money in it. A common metal coin. I can't see anything interesting. An old painting. I don't know who its author was. The Holy Cross. It's cold in here. 
I'll tell Bates to light up the fireplace. Nic tu więcej? No i mamy łóżko, tak? Czy tutaj nic, nic, nic tutaj nie będzie? Tryna. I cannot see there. It's too high. No, bo nie mogę wziąć krzesła, żeby to zajrzeć. It's locked. Oh, you just must be so close, yeah. I don't want to rest now. No, but I can't search the bushes. It's okay. No, dobra. W tym momencie zakończymy pierwszy odcinek i zapraszam na kolejny. Mam nadzieję, iż fabuła wam się spodoba, mimo tego, że premiera jej była roku 2003. Będę wdzięczny za kilka moich słów w komentarzu. I za kciuka w górę. Tymczasem ode mnie to tyle. Trzymajcie się ciepło i do miłego usłyszenia.